And that's her little swing right there off that tree. She loved to play right there in that yard. That was her favorite spot to be. So whoever took her had to actually come up into the yard and take her. And I don't understand because, like, my neighbor heard her scream, but I didn't hear her scream because I was in the house with the boys trying to find her. And I guess when my neighbor heard her scream, she I was actually in the house and the TV was going. So I didn't even hear the scream. So the audio you just heard of Candace was sent over on June 20th. And the reason I thought it was important to play for you guys today is because yesterday Don was on another channel and he was talking about how a neighbor heard Summer screaming the day she was reported missing. And the comments, some of the comments I seen were people wondering, understandably, why hasn't this been brought up before? And then today, you know, I see other channels talking about it. And a lot of those comments are the same as why is Dawn just bringing this information up now? Some people believe that Dawn is lying, that he's making this up, that he came up with this, you know, just recently of a neighbor hearing her scream, that he's just putting it out there to push that narrative of her being kidnapped. I'm playing this audio that was sent again on June 20th, because even though this is new information to the public, behind the scenes, it isn't new information. This is something that has been said from early on. I honestly don't understand why Candace never talked about this in the few interviews she's done. And as for Don, he's done multiple interviews. I call it the Don Wild Show is what we're seeing coming to you live. Um, I don't know why he hasn't brought this up because if you think about it, if a neighbor in fact heard Summer screaming around the time that she would have been, you know, if you want to believe she was kidnapped, that's really, really important information, hearing her scream. So again, I'm not sure why Don's just bringing this up now. I'm sure within a few days, he'll give an explanation to it. And I just want to say that, you know, I'm not against the wells and I'm not for the wells. I don't believe you should have to pick a side when it comes to that. I am here and only here for summer and I'm here for the truth and that's it. So again, I know people, some people are going to be like, well, you're, you're going to dispute what I'm saying with this audio with Candace. You're going to still think it's a lie and stuff like that. And you're entitled to your opinion. But I just wanted to play it because I know a lot of people think Don is just making this up right now. And, you know, I'm telling you guys this was sent over on June 20th that Candace was saying it. So it's not something that Don just came up with overnight to push that uh, narrative of her being kidnapped. Now, did a neighbor, in fact, really say this? I don't know that. It would be nice to find out who and maybe get uh, more information from this neighbor, but I don't think this neighbor's probably gonna wanna go public with you know how people that go public with this case, how they are attacked. So I don't think she will. But again, I don't know why this hasn't been put out, but I just thought it was important just to show you like, hey guys, this isn't in fact new. They were saying this early on. So that's all this video is for. So just wanted to say that. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.